So welcome back guys to another video and today I'm doing a video response to not just one, but two awesome really cool YouTubers. I'm talking about Isha Gaming and Happy Console Gamer. They did a collaboration talking about their favorite brainless games. And I felt like that topic really resonated with me because I'll be honest guys, as much as I love my story driven games, my RPGs, there are times I just want to play a game and just have fun and kind of go into autopilot, kind of decompress and just enjoy. So with that being said guys, what are some of your favorite brainless games? Leave a comment below, let's talk about it. So the first game I want to talk about is actually kind of funny because I was forced to play this game. I, I'm not a big sports fan. I don't really care for sports, but I was in the 1996 World Game Championships from Blockbuster and one of the games we had to play was NBA Jam. And I remember really, really not wanting to play this game because I had no interest in sports. Thank goodness my cousin, uh, you know, he was a little older than me. He was very supportive. He showed me, you know, how to play basketball. And then I started playing the game and everything started clicking. And I really enjoyed it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of a fan of basketball. I'm, I still don't really watch sports, but NBA Jam is definitely a amazing game from the music to the announcer. It's just a, a time machine of pop culture in the 90s. It's such a good game. And, you know, I don't have any sort of preference towards NBA Jam on the home console ports. I mean, I can play the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, Sega CD. But with uh, today's technology, whenever I want to play NBA Jam, I mostly just play the arcade uh, mode on main. So I, I really do enjoy that game, and it's, it's a game that I never thought I would enjoy, but here I am, you know, all these years later, and I still love hearing that boom shakalaka. Now the next game is a racing game, and I feel like Sega Genesis or Mega Drive has a lot of good racers that really slip under the radar, and uh, this is a well-known one, but I really enjoy it, and I'm talking about Super Hang On. Super Hang On, I was introduced to that game back, uh, back in the day when I went to the Boys and Girls Club when I was a kid. One summer, they had an ill-fated, short-lived arcade. And I say that because the arcade didn't last long because kids were spending more money on the arcades than like food or going to the swimming pool or playing basketball. Everyone wanted to play Mortal Kombat 2 or Super Hang-On or Toki. But uh, yeah, I, I really did enjoy Super Hang-On. I enjoy the music to this day. I still listen to the soundtrack. I absolutely love it. I, I love the graphics. I love when you start really accelerating and you get the turbo coming out of the pipes. It's just a really fun game. And the Genesis port's really cool too because it has a, almost like a garage mode so you can you know customize your bike and stuff like that. So the Genesis port to me is the definitive way of playing Super Hang-On. And I was really excited when I finally got my Genesis and got a copy of Genesis 6 pack and Super Hang On was one of those games. Still a game to this day I still play. One of my favorite games just to zone out. I have it actually on my phone right now so if I ever want to just play it, boom, I can take out my phone and play Super Hang On. Now one of my favorite genres is the shooter genre or shmups. Matter of fact, if you're going to any of my live streams nine times out of ten, I'm probably playing a shooter because it's one of those genres that I don't know, as hectic as it is, like bullet hells, it's one of those genres that I can like play and I can talk to people on the chat and do really well at the game because it's a genre that I play when I'm, when I'm alone that I can almost just zone out. I almost get tunnel vision. I almost have like this euphoric uh, feeling of just zoning out. It's just one of my favorite autopilot brainless genres. So what game am I gonna talk about? That's going to be Rolling Gunner for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's also on Steam, but Rolling Gunner is one of those games that I own a physical and digital. That's how much I enjoy this game. It's like a bullet hell R-type, and what I really love about it is I love taking that secondary gun, and you know you can control it 360 when you're not shooting, so you could have it shoot behind you, uh, up or down, or you could even have it shoot diagonal. I mean, it's... It adds so much strategy to a bullet hell, I really do enjoy it. And I cannot recommend it enough. It's not an incredibly hard shooter either, so that's a, that's definitely a plus. But yeah, Rolling Gunner, it's like my go-to when I want to zone out and just shoot stuff. Now sometimes you just gotta go to basics. You just gotta go to where it all began. And you know, I love the fighting game genre, but one of my favorite brainless fighting games I love to play is the original Mortal Kombat. Now, do I really need to explain why the original Mortal Kombat is so good? I don't think so. I mean, it's a revolutionary fighting game, but it's one of those games that honestly I can 
you know, play for a little bit, I can play a couple of matches, or I could just play the whole arcade campaign and feel satisfied. And you know, that's, that's really nice. It's a game that I don't have to finish. It's a game that I can just pick up, play, have a good time, and be like, okay, I played some video games. I got some more combat out of my system. I mean, it's amazing that this game came out back in the early 90s, and here I am in 2022, and it's like one of my go-to titles. I, I absolutely love the original Mortal Kombat. But anyway, guys, those are some of my favorite brainless games, and again, I'll have a link on the description below to the original video from Isha Gaming and Happy Console Gamer. Be sure to check out their YouTube channels as well. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, but also hit the bell so you're notified on all future videos that come out on this channel. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming.